Did you know that Sowards means pig farmer? I googled it once. It's in our blood. It's in his blood. <laughs> Go to my marriage. <laughs> we could have picked a better time to go driving through North Arkansas and South Missouri. It is so beautiful. All the trees are changing. My dad and I had a tradition whenever I was, you know, younger and still living at home that when the leaves changed we would go for a long drive every year and drive to nowhere. We would just go for a drive and I've always done that throughout my adult years even when I lived far away. Um, I would I would take it opportunity whenever the leaves were changing to go for like a good three or four hour drive. Uh, it just so worked out that we ended up having our drive this year. So we are uh, almost, did we cross over into the Missouri lot? Uh, no, this is not. Okay, so we're in Mount Home. We have, are almost crossing over into Missouri and we're going to get our pigs today, picking up our mangalitsas, our, our woolly pigs, but first, we are going to visit some friends in South Missouri that many of you may be familiar with. We met through the community here on YouTube and um, she's become a sweet friend to me and just a voice of encouragement. Oftentimes whenever I really needed it and we have just, um, just enjoyed sharing our hearts with one another and talking about Jesus. So I'm excited to get to meet her face to face and give her a big hug. So we have been here this afternoon with my <laughs> sweet friend, Sarah, at Living Traditions. Yes, we've been having a great time. So good, so, so good. We connected um, a couple months ago and have just been texting back and forth. I told them a little bit about it earlier. And I've just found a soul sister here with this lady. And so whenever we knew we were gonna be in that area, we were like, we have to come by. Absolutely. And we actually hung out all afternoon and forgot to we video. Did. We did. Because you know. <laughs> we're catching up in like real life, not just, you know. And eating delicious food and checking out their amazing farm which they grow so much of their food here. Will you tell them a little bit about what you guys are doing? In case sure. you don't follow Living Traditions already, I will link to them below, but if you'll yep. tell them a little bit. Absolutely. Um, you know, about seven years ago, Kevin and I started this uh, back in the city. We had an urban homestead, and uh, we really <laughs> felt God calling us out of the city and to the land, and we ended up in the Ava, Missouri area. Um, for the past probably seven years, we haven't bought meat in the store at all. And so we've continued down that road here, kind of getting bigger and bigger. Um, and now uh, we're on an adventure trying to grow all of our own vegetables as well. Uh, and they're doing a pretty good job. How many quarts of green beans was it in there? Uh, 69 yep, quarts? 69, 69 quarts, of, quarts green of green beans. And that's just the green beans. There's a lot of food. I walked in and I was like, there's food everywhere. There <laughs> is. There's squash everywhere and canned goods and herbs hanging. And Y'all are doing so good. Thank you so much. I'm so much. glad to call you friends. Oh, me too. <laughs> Jeremiah is over here getting lots of ideas from Kevin, just picking his brain. And he's been, he's found a fellow inventive person. <laughs> Hey, stinky guy. What's his name? Rocky. Rocky. He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> little girl. They're so little. He's so sweet. Nigerian dwarfs are so cute and so little. Look at them. Oh, stinky guy. I'm sorry. I don't want to touch you. Goat stank lingers. <laughs> These people that were going to their house, they have pigs, so they would probably understand if I smelled like a farm animal, but. Sarah did a video, when was that? Like a month or so ago? I've done a couple. Okay. Yeah. Um, I remember the first video you posted right after you had kind of discovered this and you came out and videoed, like, exploring it. But this is was their pig pen. And the pigs planted a garden for you. They did, yeah. We were we were bringing out all of the veggies that we weren't using in the house or, you know, we're kind of on the you right. going bad and gave it to them and they really enjoyed it. But then, like pigs do, you know, what comes in one end comes out the other. <laughs> and we moved them from this pen into the woods. And 
all of these seeds germinated and sprouted and we have this like unintentional wonderful fall garden that had just cucumbers everywhere Ever. and tomato plants there are green tomatoes in here and corn and all these kind of strange like cross-pollinated so cool. squash varieties it was so cool it was so cool so the frost has already been here to yeah. um, southern Missouri and so a lot of this stuff has already been killed and they've been picking up the remnants of it and feeding it to their pigs yeah. because this is just what's left over right after the frost came of this extra little volunteer garden there are cucumbers everywhere all this. different stages of development yeah that's so funny this is just the coolest thing to me <laughs> 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 Why things came to be. Yeah. You know, pig pen, <laughs> like a pig. It's getting close. So I set it all up and I was like, I can touch it. And it's like, I mean, you can barely feel it. I was like, I must have done something wrong. Like, it's not going to work. So then I was reading online and someone said, well, if you have really good shoes, and you touch it, you're gonna to be so well grounded, it's not gonna do anything, so do it barefoot. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just take off one shoe and try it. <laughs> oh, they were right. <laughs> so I have a good fence, I have a good fence and good shoes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, their little bleats are so mini. <laughs> it's just the tiniest little sound. They're so cute. So teeny. I know. Oh my goodness. They're so tiny. I know. I mean, we've actually been looking at Nigerian dwarfs. Um, just to have like one or two for the kids, just to have some cute little goats, because our goats are so big and the kids don't really get to play with them a whole lot. And uh, we were talking to Kevin and Sarah about maybe putting some dibs on their spring babies. We'll be back up here in the spring to pick up some kids. Food everywhere. Look at this. It's all over. Now this is impressive. Thank you. So it's time to say our goodbyes to our friends. We're so excited. We're actually fairly close to you guys. We're only three and a half hours away. Yeah, so closer than yeah. we thought. I thought it was like six. No, we'll be back soon, I'm sure. Good. Good. So thank you guys so much for having thank us. Thank you for coming. For showing us your yes. beautiful farm. If you guys are not already following Living Traditions, make sure you go check thank them you. out. Driving up a little further north through a lovely sunset to get our pigs. It's such a good visit with Kevin and Sarah. And now I'm, I'm sitting here just like pondering and thinking about the fact that I'm about to have my dream pigs. And then thinking about the fact that I have dream pigs. Sunset thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've just pulled up where our pigs currently live. Um, it's after dark. Got a long drive home, but we're gonna stay and visit for a little while and actually have dinner with them because they are viewers of our YouTube channel. Which we didn't know. Yeah, we just randomly messaged them to buy their pigs. And it turned out they watched our channel, which is pretty cool. So we're excited to meet them. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> These are our pigs. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna fit in the back of the truck. Yeah, they're that great. big old truck I brought, she's like, are they gonna fit in the <laughs> Oh my gosh. The, the bigger one right back there is your male. And the two of the white ones are females. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Give me the bell rub. <laughs> They literally so just this said, is how big they get. Do you want to lay down for a belly rub? And he laid down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm freaking out right now. I'm so excited. 
I'm just completely freaking out right now. <laughs> There's Gerard. And Fanny and Clem are two of the little white ones. So we have three blonde Mangalitsas that are coming back to our house. This is uh, the daddy of one of them. Look at him. He's big. I didn't, I don't know if I knew they were that big, but he's really, he's a big dude. So, and super sweet. Literally lays down for belly rubs. Look at his curly ears. What is it about a barn full of all kinds of animals that is just somewhat magical? I like your chicken. So we're here with Aaron and Midge who have had us here for dinner and it's been absolutely wonderful. Showed us their barn, it's dark so we didn't get to see everything but they have such a beautiful home and a sweet family. So we're about to go out and catch these pigs and load them up into the truck. They are very you strong, like to take your coat off. actually. We'll do it. We're real restless. We won't win over this tree. No. <laughs> okay. It's the girl. The girl. Look at the girl. So the white one. That one is good. Yep, that one is Grab her legs. Hold on, you gotta hold yeah. on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Go. You got it. Good job. Well done. Right, buddy, what do you got? Just got done wrangling pigs. This is Mitch and Aaron. Yes. All right, so will you guys tell us a little bit about your farm? Yes. So, what do you want to know? Um, what do you What do you raise out here, and what's kind of your goal? Um, so, we have pigs and cows and goats and lots of chickens, and um, we got into it to feed our ha our family healthy. Yeah and um, to raise our own food to do it the right way, I guess. Yeah, and we are so excited to have connected with this beautiful yes. couple and their family. Um, they are on Instagram. Yes. Honeysuckle Farmhouse. Yes. And I'm gonna link that down below so you guys can check it out and come give them some support and love and check out what they're doing. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we just got home. <laughs> How sweet is that? It's two in the morning driving through the night is something that I always am like, why are we doing this? Um, <laughs> but we always end up doing it for some reason. Anyway, we're putting the pigs in kind of like a temporary pen. It's a, like a dog kennel that we have that we have the bottom reinforced from using it as a, it as a coop in the past where we had reinforced it so nothing could dig into it. So the pigs will be in there for right now and then uh, we'll get them set up in the garden. I should probably go help him. I bless you guys. Until next time.